Hello everyone, it's Monday, October 7th. This is Lee McMahon with The Daily Video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Had a very slow day today in terms of currency movement, uh, though we did have some pretty strong moves in equity markets, so it's interesting that we saw currencies pretty much stall for the day. I'm going to run through a little bit of the price action today and talk about what we can expect going into uh, tomorrow. Um, so please take a moment to read over the risk disclaimer, which should now be on your screen. Now we'll get started. Alright, so let's start with the E-minis. Um, we saw today, this is the daily chart, you can see the important thing to take from the daily chart is that we close below the 50 day again. Alright, this level becoming uh, quickly a battle point, it's closed below it, closed above it, closed back below it. But we are still sitting just above the major support area, which is this trend line dating back from November 16th, um, as well as the 100 day EMA at about 1650. So, those are the levels we have to watch now. <clears throat> if we drop down to the hourly chart and take a look at some intraday price action, you can see here E minis, all right, trading in some sort of wedge type pattern. Um, we uh, had a very weak close, all right. You can see this um, candle here taking us into the close, uh, very strong. Um, to the downside, um, so that is something to keep in mind. We lost about down about a percent on the day. Um, look for support around 1660, and again that 1650 level. Um, despite equities, E minis selling off, um, we didn't see a ton of movement in the currencies. Here are some intraday charts. Aussie dollar continuing to just chop sideways. Here we are trading right near this resistance area so 9450 is the level to keep an eye on there a breakout above there and we start to see some acceleration to the upside watch this 50 um, 50 hour 100 hour and 200 hour obviously they're all sitting right here as support um, euro dollar okay trading in some sort of wedge like pattern here um, <clears throat> we're trading near the bottom of it nice 200 um, hour EMA bounce right here. All right, um, very strong right off that level. We're now sort of challenging this mini trend line. If you want something to keep an eye on, I'd be cautious about trading um, any of the currency pairs um, here with the kind of low volatility we've seen. Um, it'd be difficult to really pick a place. It might be best to sort of generally keep an eye out on things and see where things go from here. This is pound dollar. You can see we've retraced a good, well, not a good portion, but about 80 pips, um, 90 pips or so of the decline from Thursday and Friday of last week. We are now starting to enter some significant resistance areas here on the hourly chart. 38.2% FIB, 200 hour EMA, 100 hour EMA sitting just above it. Four hour chart. Okay, 50 period um, EMA sitting right here as well. So there is some, uh, we're starting to enter some resistance. I do still see the potential if we go to the daily chart. All right, for a head and shoulders pattern to be formed here, which would mean generally sideways to up for a couple more days on pound dollar before a strong sell off. Kiwi was strong today, did not finish that way. All right, um, basically continuing to just test and reject this 83.40 level. Um, on hourly. That is actually one of the nicer trade setups that we have. Um, if we do break out above, you can buy that break for new highs. Uh, for As far as trading the downside goes, all right, you can put a trend line here, uh, but in general, this looks like it's more trading um, a horizontal range here between that 83.50 level um, and about 82 or so. All right, so keep your eye out on that range. Um, Dollar yen was weak today. Uh, all the yen pairs were. Dollar yen continuing to weaken here in after hours. We drop down to the daily chart, starting to continue to break down. My level has been and remains 95.46. That is the 200 day EMA. You can even round it up to about the 96 figure. All right, we have some significant support in that area. Uh, about 60, 70 pips lower, and we'll start to look for possible dollar yen longs. Aussie yen. All right, keeps trying to break out, can't do it because of the weakness. Kiwi Yen is actually an attractive setup. If and when we do start to see Yen pairs accelerate to the upside, watch this wedge break on Kiwi Yen. All right, major support at 80, major resistance is this 81 figure basically. Um, 
150 period EMAs on the two on the four hour chart, as well as this descending trend line. Uh, the reason yen pairs were weak, you can see the Nikkei also extraordinarily weak, uh, down over three percent on the day, nearing some pretty nice support though. All right, retest here at about 1363. Um, what 13,630? We're not that far away from there right now. All right, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, watch how that corresponds with dollar yen. We could see the two of them bounce in tandem. If we do see that, that Kiwi yen wedge break and this CAD yen wedge would be the two levels that I would be, or the two pairs that I will be looking to trade to the upside. All right, so watch the Nikkei, watch dollar yen, and watch those um, yen crosses this um, evening. Uh, and then, of course, keep an eye on Kiwi dollar for a potential breakout higher. All right, I hope that's helpful. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. So always, if you have questions, you can head on over to globalfxclub.com. I'll be happy to talk to you there. Good luck trading this uh, evening, and I'll talk to you soon.